Hi guys, it's your girl Kendall Anise, and today I want to talk about blessings, but I want to talk about them in, in a different way. Stop saying you want a blessed life. You want blessings to overflow in your life. When you're being anything other than a blessing to other people. See, this is the thing. God blesses those who bless others. If you keep talking about you want your blessing, you'll be glad when your ship comes in, you'll be glad when God blesses you with this and that, when you are being anything other than a blessing to those around you. So practice what you preach and put out what you want to come back to you. So if you want a blessed day, bless someone else's day. If you want blessings to pour over your life, Pour blessings into other people and into their life. If you want to live a blessed future, you want your children to be blessed and your family to be blessed, then bless someone else's family. Bless your own future because God helps those who help themselves and God helps those who help others. So stop being selfish and wanting all the blessings for you because you need to bless someone else in order to get blessed abundantly. So think about someone else today and bless someone else. And I want everyone to have a blessed day and I want you to be a blessing. How about it? God bless. Hey guys, it's your girl Kendall Anise and I'm bringing to you the Motivation Minute. Today I want to talk about fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. It is not real. It is something that you drummed up in your head. It is something that um, someone said or did to scare you. But to be scared and to be fearful is not of God. You have to put God first and you have to know that there is better and that you have to be bold and not afraid uh, because fear sometimes stops us from doing the things that we want to do because we are afraid, we are fearful that it may not go the way we want it to go. But fear is something that is made up. It's in our head and it's something that is supposed to stunt our growth. It's supposed to um, make us unstable and make us unsure. But fear is not of God. So if you are fearful for anything, stop it and pray. God bless. Hey guys, it's your girl Kendall Anise and I am bringing to you my motivation minute. Stop fighting who you are. Stop trying to be someone else. The only person you can be is you. If you don't like how you are in some areas, then change it. I'm all about remixing your life and trying to enhance your life to become a better version of you. Stop trying to waste time fighting who you are and learn to embrace who you are and what you're really about. I know other people are trying to change you, but that's okay. You don't worry about other people. You worry about you. If you don't like something, change it. I always say remix it. I am the P. Diddy of life coaching and I'm all about remixing your life and improving your life and standing on who you are, but just making yourself a better version of you. So today I want you to change, but only for you and only to become better, bolder, stronger, and wiser. God bless. Hey guys, it's your girl Kenzel Anise and I am bringing to you my Motivation Minute. So today I want to talk about going back to school. That's right, you heard me say it before. Well, today my break is over, my winter break is over and I start my spring semester today. I say all of that to say you too can go back to school. If you want to continue learning and get another degree as I am or get your first degree, get your GED, get your associate's degree, bachelor's, etc, 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 you can do it. You have the power in you all you need is motivation and I'm here to motivate you if you've been thinking about it that means you want to do it and you can do it don't listen to the naysayers saying that you don't have enough money you don't have enough time um, you don't have anyone to watch your children if you want to do it and if it's in the forefront of your brain you can do it space opportunity and money will become available to you if you are serious about it so inquire about a school today check out your local colleges whether you want to sit in the classroom or take classes online god bless this is your motivation minute hi guys it's your girl kendall anise and i am bringing to you today's motivation minute today i want to talk about you i want you to be authentically you sometimes being you doesn't work for someone else sometimes your views or your opinions or your thoughts or the way you see things is not the same as everyone else but that is okay it is strength and power in being who you really are and staying true to who you really are and thinking what you want to think in spite of what anyone else says don't let anyone 
sway your your views, your opinions, or your thoughts. Stand in that. There is power and strength in being you and standing for something. This is the thing. Some people don't stand for anything. Some people don't have a view. Some people don't have a thought. But if you do stick with that, as long as you're not hurting anyone, and as long as you're not hurting yourself, stand in that. There is truth, power, and strength in you being you and standing for something. God bless. Hey everyone, it's Kendall Lanise and I'm bringing to you your Motivation Minute. So today I want to strongly encourage anyone that's going through anything in their life right now. You may be in the valley of your life going through trials and tribulations and you don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what to do. You need to hold on. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your strength because you do have it. This is only a season. Joy does come in the morning. Do not give up. Do not stop trying. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing through whatever you're going through because eventually if you push hard enough, you will make it through. But you have to keep your strength and you have to know whose you are and you have to know how powerful and beautiful you are. This is just a season. This is just a test. Your test will become your testimony only if you stay true to what's going on right now because the valley is temporary. You will be climbing the mountain soon. God bless. Hey guys, it's Kendall Lanise and I'm back. First, I ask you, what are you doing to prepare for your future? So today's challenge is I want you guys to get out a notebook. That's right, an old fashioned notebook. And I want you to write down five goals that you have for yourself in 2017. I want you to do that right now. So go get a pen and a pad. I'm not talking about your cell phone notes. I'm talking about an actual old school pen and a pad. Go get yourself a pen and a pad and I want you to write down five steps to whatever you're doing, whatever you want your goals to be, whatever you want to achieve and accomplish in 2017. I want you to write them down. I want you to write down five steps you're going to take to get to your goal. At the top of the page, I want you to write your goal for 2017. It could be one thing. Let's start with one thing. And then I want you to write down five steps you're going to take to ultimately conquer and achieve that goal. So are you guys ready? That's your challenge for today. God bless.